Good evening, CLC. My name is Naomi Feda. Thank you so much for joining me here um, this evening. So as you all know, our uh, week of prayer and fasting was last week and on church, um, at church on Sunday, there was just so many amazing testimonies of all that God is doing among us and our congregation and um, all the words that he gave people and just how he ministered to people through that time. And just as a continuation of, of that theme, um, God impressed on me the scripture from Philippians 3, um, 13 through 17 and 19 through 21 from the Passion Translation. And so I'm just going to read it to you. Um, you know, it's just about how here, here we are, we've we we're coming away from this this week of prayer and, and there's things that God has placed in our hearts and and not to forget them, to keep running, keep pressing. Um, so I'm just going to read this passage from Philippians 3 and um, pray that it blesses you. And so it says, it's Paul writing, it says, I don't depend on my own strength to accomplish this. So all those things that, that God birthed in you um, this week or the prophecies that he spoke over you in the past that went along with um, Pastor Charlie Sweet's message on Friday night. Well, I don't depend on my own strength to accomplish these things. However, I do have one compelling focus. I forget all that is past as I fasten my heart to the future instead. I run straight for the divine invitation of reaching the heavenly goal and gaining the victory prize through the anointing of Jesus. Which that is just um, the way that it reads in the Passion right there. Just... Um, ministered to me um, in a way of just um, you know reaching for that goal that that prize through the anointing of Jesus and how you know um, we're, we're anointed in Christ we have the anointing of Jesus um, you know he he passed that on to us and he said even greater things will I do through them and, and that's another passage of scripture but just um, as I read that it just you know soaks in my soul, my spirit. So as I continue reading, it says, so let all who are made fully mature have the same passion. And if anyone is not yet gripped by these desires, God will reveal it to them. And let us all advance together to reach this victory prize, following one path with one passion. My beloved friends, imitate my walk with God and follow all those who walk according to the way of life we have modeled before you. Um, but we are a colony of heaven on earth as we cling tightly to our life giver, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our humble bodies and transfigure us into the identical likeness of his glorified body. And using his matchless power, he continually subdues everything to himself. And, you know, it, it's this um, sense that I get that, that we all have, have these words, these things. You know, God has called each and every one of us. All of you have been, he, he's anointed you for a purpose. He puts you here for a purpose right now. And... And maybe some of you have had those words spoken over you and you have this sense that God is starting to show you what that purpose is. And, and maybe some of you don't know yet. And yet for all of us, the, the purpose is let's press into Christ and he, he will show us and he anoints us and he fills us. And not only that, he, he, he takes us, you know, our our humanity and our, our brokenness and our mess because trust me we all have a mess um, we all have have a past or a story to tell or something that that God has brought us through and he he's transforming us to shape us into, into the image of his son and um, you know that that part where it says um, as we cling tightly to our life giver, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform 
our humble bodies and transfigure us into the identical likeness of his glorified body. And, and maybe I don't know what all that means. Maybe you don't, none of us fully know what that means, but there's this promise that I think as we, we cling to him and we press forward and, and we battle for that prophecy, as, as Charlie Sweet said, that um, it transforms us, that Christ transforms us, whether it's just the infilling of power and strength and, and ability and connection and all of these things. But um, wherever you're at along that journey, don't give up. Don't don't give up on what is spoken of you, over you, and um, you know God wants to move in you in great and mighty ways, um, and it doesn't look like what what we think, but we do know this. Just press on. Don't look at the past. Look at the future at what is promised as at what has been promised and and that faith faith is knowing that maybe we don't see it but we believe we believe that he who has spoken will bring it to pass and so just going to close with a brief word of prayer, prayer over all of us so father god i just thank you for all of the words spoken over us and and for each and every one that's listening father I pray that you would give them the strength and the courage to just keep pressing in, keep walking one foot in front of the other to press the, onto that, that high call to that, um, that, that purpose that you've given them in their life. Lord, we, we just thank you for your strength and your power to fulfill your purposes, that your, your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. And we just give you honor and glory and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. So love you all. God bless you. I look forward to seeing you on Sunday.